Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are returning to the world of House. If you don't remember, I played this game around six months ago. I did a video where I did a normal sort of playthrough, followed that up with a video looking at all the endings, and then followed that up with a video looking at the story and explaining all the happenings within the game. House has just had a new DLC released which actually tells a sequel story about the sister of the main character, Tabby. So Tabby was the main character, the one we see on the title screen now. Her younger sister, Melody, is the star of this new DLC, and in this video we're going to go through the DLC and sort of see what it has in store for us. I'm not sure I'm going to complete it in this video, but if I don't, I will bring you a follow-up video looking at all the different endings and the story explained. So, with that said guys, we're going to check out the DLC today for House version 1.5, so sit back, relax, and let's see what this game has in store. Okay, so it starts out the same. Like, you can see we're playing as Tabby still. And you can see I haven't actually unlocked all the different notes. I actually had unlocked all the notes because I had them in my Story Explained video. These are basically given to you depending on which endings you unlock. But I actually had to play through it again on my new computer today before I could do this DLC. And so I didn't get the two secret endings, but I've got all the regular endings and that gets us up to the point we need to be at to play the DLC. So let's go and explore the house and see what's changed. I don't know how we actually activate the DLC. This is our sister's room, so Melody's asleep. Can't actually speak to her at all. Oh, this is new. This is new, guys. This is a doll of our sister, Melody, by the look of it. But what do we do with it? That's got to be something to do with this DLC. Um, I can't seem to do anything with this now. <laughs> I'm just going to carry it around. Here's our mom. That doll is so cute. Did you make that for your sister? Well, we didn't make it, I don't think. I can't seem to drop it now. This is the only issue. I can still pick... Oh. That's fine. I can still cycle through stuff. Okay. Oh, we can speak to the neighbor still. Can we do anything with a doll if we speak to the neighbor? Thinking about your sister? Truly a shame what's happened. You know, I've been thinking... Perhaps it's not too late, for your sister at least, but you'll need to give up control to give her a chance. Ooh, okay. Once you've let go, you won't be able to return. Let me know when you're ready, Tabby. Ah, oh, I think this is how we enter the DLC. Um, okay, I'll say I'm ready. Let's do this. We're transferring control. Ooh. Okay. So she turned into a snake and bit us. This is the kind of weird stuff you get in this game, guys. It's completely insane. Look, it's gone back to the title screen, guys, and now we're dreaming as Melody instead of Tabby, and it says, wake up. Before it said dream, because I got, like, the ultimate ending, and it then changes from wake up to dream, but now we've gone back to play as Melody. We're going to try and get her out of the house, because Tabby actually did escape at the end of the original story. So maybe we can get Melody out as well. Let's see. What are these things? We've got some, like, rope on the ground. It's weird. What's this? Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah, look. We've got new journal entries to unlock. So the first one's awake. Today I woke up for what feels like the first time in months. Like I've been stuck in a long dream. Here we go, then. Oh, the house is very different. What's this? The clock is smashed. That's what Tabby did at the end of the story for the original game. Let's go inside Tabby's room. Oh, there's the ghost of a woman that tried to cut her head off with the scissors. You're awake. Can we play now, Melody? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, close your eyes and no peeking. Alright, I don't know what she means by play. I'm kind of worried. Oh, it's weird. There's a broken toilet. So this is, everything has been left as it was at the end of the original story of Tabby. Which is very interesting. Oh, what's this? What's this little thing? Also, guys, you should know everything in this game kills us. There's the rat. He's really fat, though. He's really bloated now. Hey, little girl. You wouldn't happen to have a drink, eh? Ah, so he wants a drink. We've got to figure out what we need to do to solve the puzzles in this game. 
Oh, I think um, that's the woman who we're playing hide and seek with. She's fallen over and scissors went through her head. And here's our mom making a lot of sandwiches. Bread, lettuce, tomato, turkey, bread, lettuce, tomato. And yeah, look, she's just discarding the sandwiches in a pile there. And the rats are taking it to feed the big rat. That's kind of funny. I don't know what we do with them though. There's a bird up there as well. Strange. Maybe we have to do something with him a bit later. Let's go and explore some more. Let's go into the room with the piano and see what's in there. Oh, it's come to life. That's weird. Okay. The piano just came to life. I'm going to see if I can run over here, guys. Oh my god, it's coming, trying to get us. It's trying to get us. It's trying to get us. We got the flute. We got eaten. So basically, guys, we picked up like a flute or something. Um, Melody played the flute. She's a musician. She likes playing the piano and the flute in the original game. I think we probably need to pick that up. Oh, I think we got one of the endings, though. So we're finally awake. This is the Melody doll speaking to us. What's the point? It's already over, isn't it? Even Tabby left us here to rot. It all feels so pointless. I'm guessing that's maybe like one ending we can get. Feels like an ending. Not a very good one, but it feels like an ending. Let's check the journal then. Remembering. Grandma always loved this song. I could never play it as well as she could. I guess I have plenty of time to practice. Ah, and we've got a song. So if we play this, what would happen, I wonder? Let's go back to the piano room and see if we can play the song. Oh. We just fell over... ...that. What does this do? What? There's like bumps all over the rug. There's got to be a point to this. I wonder if it's like a certain order we have to do these in? Yeah, there is, look. We're trying to get, I think, all of the bumps to show on the rug. Okay, we've got rid of all of them, nice. Okay, I don't know what that's done. Oh, wait! Maybe now we can see if the, um, the woman will play with us because she won't trip over the bumps on the rug. Let's go and speak to her. Okay, close your eyes and no peeking. So we're playing hide and seek. I love this game so much because it's kind of like really hard to work out what you're supposed to be doing, but it can be like really rewarding when you finally figure out what to do. All right. I'm running, 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 I'm running. I'm running. Oh, come on. Yes, we made it. Okay, we can play the flute now. So let's try and work out how to do this. All right, guys, I'm going to try and do this now. I'm going to try and play this. Okay, B to play. Here we go. I'm playing the, the tune from the uh, book. Oh, look, there we go. Grandma's shown up. What's this? Oh, Melody, my sweet granddaughter. You remembered the song. You had an ear for music and like your older sister. You seem to be more awake than usual. As you can see, the house has been falling apart, like its core is rotting away. It's gotten so dark and cold. Here, Melody, I want you to have this. It should help light your way around this old house. I'll be around if you ever need a chat, okay? Ooh, look at this. We've got a light now. Oh, there's the mum. Don't look at me. We've still got a timer as well. It's 3.13 at the moment. Okay, I think I can see the woman hiding here. Whoa, how did you find me? I thought for sure you wouldn't see me here. Here's your prize. Scissors. Now careful not to trip. So we got the scissors from her. So what can we do with the scissors? Hey, little girl. You wouldn't happen to have a drink, eh? Oh, yeah, he wants a drink. Okay, I got you. Whoa, what was that? Oh god. There's an actual spirit in here, guys, chasing us as a spirit. Ah! 
No, we're getting chased. That was close. Oh, I can hear a piano now. That's creepy. The piano is just playing itself. Will it come to life again? Yes. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Okay. It still comes to life. I can't seem to summon the grandma anymore this time. I don't know why. Oh, what the heck was that? Wow. Okay, that was freaky. Oh, we've hidden under the bed. That's strange. So we can hide under the bed then. Interesting. Let's go in here now. Oh, but here's for grandma. So nice to see you, Melody. Oh, and now we've got the light from the grandma, so she's always there now. And we can just get the light from her. Oh my god. Let's hide, let's hide, let's hide. No, what the heck was that? Who was that? Was that Toby? There was a character who was like our boyfriend in the first game called Toby. Well, the boyfriend of a character we're playing now, Melody. So I don't know if that was meant to be Toby, like his ghost. Oh, look, we've got a different ending though. Yeah, look, it was. Was that Toby? But he's dead. This can't be real, can it? It's our fault. We deserve this. So it seems like we're going to find out more about Melody's story in this game, which is interesting. And here we go, we're back once again. Now we go and see the grandma. She should be in this room. She's not. She hasn't actually appeared yet. Hmm. Very strange. Oh, she's in here this time. She changes rooms. Here you go, Melody. Okay, good. Can I go in here yet? Oh god, okay. The tree got me that time. That's insane. So I've got to figure out what we can actually snip now. Let's go in here and see. Can we snip mom? Oh, we actually... Okay, I slipped over somehow. I cut the mother, but I slipped over with the scissors. We've got a new journal entry from doing that though. Let's have a look at what that is. Lost. It feels like I'm losing my grip on reality. Is any of this even real? I've woken up into this nightmare three times. So she's kind of putting together the fact that it's that it seems like she's trapped in a time loop, like in some kind of nightmare world, rather than reality, which is the case, of course, it keeps repeating itself. Tabby eventually escapes, of course, we'll have to see if Melody can escape as well. Because it seemed like both these children were being controlled by this puppet master at the end of the original game, so maybe we free Melody next, you know? We've got a rubber duck there, I don't know if we can use that for anything. What happened there? Wait, did that rubber duck kill us? It did, that's insane. Maybe we should cut the rubber duck with the scissors. Guys, this time I'm going to see if I can just survive, you know, for a certain amount of time. And maybe if we just survive, that'll be enough. So I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to take the light and walk around with the lights. She says, I'm sorry about your parents. This house has been devouring them for so long. James is always a stubborn boy, though. I'm sure a piece of him is still in there. That's interesting. Maybe we can talk to the ghost then. I'm gonna see if I can hide under the bed until like the end of the night or something. I just wanna see the end of the night and like what happens if we survive long enough. Oh. Oh no, we've, we've aggroed everything. Quick. No, we got got. Hmm. Hasn't this gone on long enough? Dying over and over again. It feels like it never ends. At least we have each other. Man, this is getting sad. This is getting depressing for these characters. We just keep dying. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to try doing some different things this time. Just trying to figure out, like, what we're meant to be doing. Because I've played quite a few times now and I still don't really know, like, how to get the rat a drink, for example. I want to see if I can figure that out and what the rat does if we get him a drink, you know? There's got to be something in here. You can't get into the fridge. What about the table? Is there anything here? What's this? Pick up. What did we just get? Is that a glass? Can we fill that? 
This must be used to get the rat a drink. I need to figure out where we go though. We could try the bathroom. The bathroom actually had an overflowing toilet in it, so maybe we can get something from that. Oh, scoop. Yeah, look, we scoop it up. Nice. And here's the grandma again. So nice to see you, Melody. Have you met that bald fella with the faces? He comes back every day to take a little piece of your spirit. He'll keep coming back until you're barely even in there. Let's talk more later. I'm at a dramatic part. Okay, so that's a bit more information about the, um, the spirit in the house then. Let's go speak to this woman again. Uh, let's play hide and seek. Yeah, cool. So she goes and hides. I'm actually going to go back to the rat now and see if we can give the rat, you know, the water. So let's give him the water. At long last, something to sip on. Thanks, kid. Ugh, oh, we got a key out of it. Nice. Maybe that's the bedroom key because that's been locked the whole time. Bleh, what was that? Sewer water? It's near, nearly sewer water. It's toilet water, I'm afraid. I'm going to try and get to the picture as well in this room this time. Oh. Oh, we've hidden. <gasps> Guys, we did die then, but we managed to hide as well. So we can actually hide from the piano there. I just took too long to, to actually, you know, hide when I went into the room. So we'll try that again. I'm going to cut to where I actually make progress. I'm not going to keep showing you guys the whole run. Oh, here's the grandma again. I've always loved this old house. Your grandfather never liked this place, though. I think spending eternity here made him a little stir crazy. Kept trying to move things in the material plane. Said something about taking control of a life he never had. So it's the grandfather. Because we saw an old man controlling Tabby and uh, Melody in the original in the original version of House. The grandfather's the guy that's behind everything. He stormed off a few years ago and I haven't seen him since. That's interesting. Oh no, we've got what, that horrible woman. Let's get out. Ah, no, we got got. We got got. That's not good. Like, it's probably going to take me a long time to get through this, but at least we're learning about the story a little bit more. Okay, this time, guys, we're going to figure out what that key does. I think it's going to be for the bedroom door, but I'm not 100% on that. So we've got the scissors, we've got the key. Let's go to the bedroom and see if we can unlock the door now. Yes, we can. Nice. That's good. Oh, what the heck is that? Okay. That is... Yeah, that's scary. That's like a demonic entity. If we turn the light off here, we can speak to the grandma again. Here you go, Melody. Nice. You got anything else to say? What happened to your sister Tabby? That girl was making such a ruckus around here. Haven't seen her around in quite some time, though. Can't say I miss the little rat scallion. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in our journal now. We got another... Yeah, look. I can still hear her screaming. Is she stuck in this rotting house too? Spending each day screaming in agony. Will that be me soon? Hopefully not. So, apparently... If we hold this down, something happens. Ooh, okay. So something's happened. I don't know what. Oh. I want to see if... Okay, that was close. I want to see if we can summon anything with this. Nothing happened. Maybe we have to go back to the... Um... Okay, that was close. Yeah, maybe we have to go back in here. And use it. Nothing seemed to have happened there. Hmm. Interesting. Can we go down into the cellar? Yes, we've gone back into the cellar where Toby is. Oh no, oh no, she's gonna get us. That wasn't good. I couldn't escape her, guys. But this is interesting, we've actually found out a fair few, like, sort of interesting tidbits of information there. We found the cellar again with Toby's body, where he reanimates. We got a new uh, piece of music to play. Oh, who's this? Is this Toby? M Melody, it almost feels like you can see me. 
Wait a second, you can see me, can't you? I, I don't believe it. It feels like years since I, well, you know, I've just been here watching from afar. <laughs> it's been in a toilet, why? It's kind of weird, man. But this is different. You're actually awake, Melody. Maybe you can get out of this place. It's too late for me, but I'll help you if I can. Awesome, so what are you gonna do? Melody, we can, no, never mind, that'll never work. What do you mean? We need to get you out of here while we still can. Hmm. All right, guys, so basically we've been dying quite a lot in this playthrough so far, and what I've decided to do is just take a step back and think about what we actually need to get done in this run. We got the musical notes for the father's song, but we haven't played the father's song to the father yet. So I wanna try and do that, get back into the basement hatch in the bedroom and play the song to the father. I also think it's worth maybe trying to lead Toby's corpse to Toby's ghost because Toby said he could maybe help us and I think the only way to do that is maybe to reunite his body with his soul so I'm going to try and do that as well. It's the only thing I can think to get rid of that body that chases us. And the other thing I want to do is to try and communicate with the mother in some way because we haven't actually tried to do that yet. There's no song we've got for her or anything like that, we haven't got a diary entry for her so we need to try and stop her from making those sandwiches and from drinking so much. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that, maybe something we can do with the flute. Either way, let's dive back in and have another crack at it. Oh god. I'm going to go and see the mother next. I'm going to try playing the um... There you go, that worked. It blew up the bird as well. That's cool. So I've actually got a journal entry now. I tried playing that long note that we accessed. So we picked up a stick by the look of it from a bird. I wonder if we can... Oh no, I cut the mother by accident. Sorry about that, mom. And I fell on the scissors. Great. That doesn't matter though, guys. That's interesting. So we can play the note. We can play the musical note. The high-pitched note. And it actually breaks the glass that the mother's drinking with. And then she stops drinking. So that's good. That's probably actually done something worthwhile. This game is all about trial and error. So we have got a little bit further. Even though it seems like we haven't. We have got a little bit further there. So I'm going to cut back to when we're making progress once again. First we'll watch this uh, little outro. It says, maybe we are too weak to get through this. Tabby was the strong one. Maybe we should just give up. No, we're not giving up. We're going to keep going, guys. We're so close to figuring out this puzzle piece now. We just need to slot it all together. I want to see what that diary entry was actually for, uh, for the mother. Do we get uh, another piece of music to play? No, it says... That's not my mom. She's become twisted by this house, but maybe there's still a part of her in there. If she could just put it down, if she could just see me. Yeah, so we know how to get my mother to put down the drink now. So that's really good. I'm going to carry on, guys. As I said, I'll cut back to when I'm making progress again. So we've got the key this time. We're going to go and see if we can find Toby's body and see what we can do with the dad in this room. So let's go downstairs. There's the dad. Can we wake him up if we snip him? Oh, he is awake. And now let's see if we can play the music to him. Oh, no, that's just, um, that's just woken up Toby's ghost. That's just woken up Toby's corpse, but it's okay. We're going to lead him to Toby if we can. In here. Let's see if it works. It works! Look! He's got inside him. Ugh, he says. So he's like a zombie now. Okay, cool. That's actually worked. Nice. That's good to know. Oh no, we've got this ghost now. We've got the ghost. Oh, that was close. Oh, and we've got a duck. What the heck? What the heck was that, man? That was like a... I had quick reactions there. That was like a monster duck. Right, we need to go and see if we can find the mum now. Oh, what's this? We've got a noose. I'm going to cut this. Cut the noose because uh, we've got scissors. Don't know what that's done. Mum's just drinking. Let's see if we can play something on the recording. On the recorder. There you go. We stopped her drinking. Which is good, I guess. I'm guessing we wanted to do that. Make sure that ghost doesn't attack us. Let's go and see if we can speak to the dad now. I still haven't properly spoken to the dad, so... I want to see if we can speak to him. Oh, look. He's gone now. Why is he gone? There must be something we can do with that dad. Because he's not there anymore. 
Let's try playing him his song again. Oh, the ghost has come back. Okay, I, I don't know if this is working, guys. No, we got got. Oh, I tried to open that closet in case it was something to do with the closet. Maybe we have to open the closet to let that thing like scream so the dad can help us or something. I'm not sure, but we got a bit further and we found out this time that Toby does indeed help us if we lead the body to the ghost. So that's good. I need to figure out what we do with his dad. Look, he's gone now. That's weird. I don't know why the dad goes like that. Oh, he's crawling away. Oh no, the dad gets caught in the noose. Ah, okay, so the dad gets caught in the noose. Interesting. The dad just crawled out. This could be good. Oh no, what? That's not fair. So the dad doesn't hurt us. So look, the dad is crawling to the living room, so that's good to know. So, I'm guessing, like, obviously we he got hung on the noose at one time, that's why we cut the noose to stop that. So there must be a reason why we're trying to keep the mum, the dad, and Toby all alive. They must be there for a reason, right? So we need to figure out what that reason is for, but we haven't actually reached the end of this night, believe it or not, guys. I've always died before we got to the end of it. So what I might try and do is just free all these people like we have been, and then just try and reach the end of the night and just see what happens. Okay, I think we've freed everyone, guys. We've just got to try and avoid this ghost thing now. And get to the end of the night and see what happens. There's the dad. He's crawling into the middle of a room. I don't know what we do about this Toby character though. But he's still there. So is there anything we can do about him? I don't know if there is. We might need a way to like make him come after us because he at the moment he's just sort of stuck here. Oh god. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we can get to the end of the night and see what happens. Can we do anything with the dad? Just don't know what we're meant to do. I'm just gonna wait until the end of the night now, guys. It's nearly six o'clock. Surely that's like the end of the night. Like Five Nights at Freddy's style. I'm just gonna wait around and see what happens. Oh, we've got the ghost woman again though. It's not good. Just let her disappear. Come on. No! Are you kidding me? Oh no, we got to the end of the night as well. It says, what's this? A shift in the paradigm. A fresh soul is near. Come to me, child. I shall escort you to the other side. And then the dad's moving towards him. Okay, so that's interesting. We died too early to find out what happens. But it looks like... Oh, what's the dad doing? Is he going to attack him? I think my game's just crashed, guys. Unfortunately. That was interesting, though. We saw, like, the dad moving towards the guy that came in, and that guy seems to be the claimer of souls of this house, like the person holding all the souls of these people trapped in the house. So... Basically, I think the idea is maybe to save everybody in the house and then they'll help us destroy that person when they come to the house. That's what it seemed to be like alluding to, but we only saw a little bit of that sequence because we got killed. Keep this momentum going. Come on, Dad, you're going to help us out. You're going to help us out. Man, I'm scared. Got 20 minutes, which goes by quite quick in game time, but then the ghost woman is back. The ghost woman is back. Run. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Go. Oh, he's back. Okay, are you still in here, little girl? Alright, let the dad get him. Let the dad get him. Oh my god. Come on, dad. Help us. Help us. Help us, help us, help us, help us. Help us. Yes, Dad helped us. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to the mum next and see if she helps. Come on, mum, are you going to help? Yep, look, she's going over. Oh, and she stabs him. Okay. Damn, he's like stamped on her. He killed her, though. Can we get to Toby next? <gasps> Toby's out. 
Toby's here. Toby's gonna help. But that's everyone now, so is he dead? Yes, I'm gonna cut him, I'm gonna cut him. We got him. Guys, we got him. Look! He fell down. Guys, that was hard. Okay, I think we've done it. Look, the time has changed to question marks as well. And the light's returning to the house. Wait, can we go and see anyone now? It's, I wonder if the, the people... Yeah, look, here's Toby. He's returned to the basement like he was in part one. Can you believe it, Melody? We did it. He's donezo. I guess that means you can blow this joint, huh? I wish I could come with you. Aw, so these, yeah, these two were boyfriend and girlfriend, obviously, before Toby died. I think Melody's dad actually killed him, as I remember, when he was possessed by the house. Oh, he's fading away now. Aw. It feels like I've been suffocating like a noose has been around my neck for months. But its grip has loosened. I can breathe again. Okay, so now we have to go, I guess, and say goodbye to all the spirits of the house. I think there used to be, like, a ghost in the toilet room, so I'm going to see if we can see them. Psst, hey, kid. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. Using your family and dead boyfriend to defeat him? Ruthless. I'll be in touch, okay? Yeah, this is like the demonic entity that lives in the house. Um, let's see if there's anyone else in this house before we go. The mum and dad have got to be around somewhere, surely. Like, the dad's probably going to be in the living room, I imagine. And then the mum in the kitchen. Yeah, here's the dad. We really showed him who's boss around here, huh? Looks like you're going to be heading out now, eh? Look, I'm sorry about the boy. Something took over me. Yeah, there we go. That's the confirmation about how he killed Toby. Try to forgive your old man, okay? Bye, kiddo. Aw, oh, and he's gone. So this does complete the story that was told in the original game. Here's the mum. She says, Melody, I wish I could have done more. Been a better mom for you girls. Try and remember me as I was before this house. Goodbye, sweetie. Aw, she's going too. They're all fading away. I wonder if there's anyone else left. Is anyone in here? The grandma. Will that piano come to life if I try and speak to the grandma is a question. Melody, sweet girl, you did it. I'm not sure what you did, but it sure was something. The house doesn't feel so dark anymore. Bye, sweetie. It's kind of cool how we use the spirits of like all our family members to unite and destroy the omen possessing the house. Here we go, you can say goodbye to these guys as well. So, does this mean you're leaving? It went by so fast, and we only played one game. Do you even remember me? I know I've changed, but so have you, right? I don't blame Tabby for slicing me up. I was pretty rude, being possessed and all. But it's felt so good to be alive. And we've got the rats. What's he going to say? Anything? Nope. It's just gone back to being a rat, I guess. Doesn't talk anymore. I think that's everything we can do now. So I'm going to head down the hole, guys. We'll see what's lying in wait down there. Jump in. Here we go. The grand finale to this adventure. This has literally taken me up two hours to get here, by the way. Oh, we just landed on his body. Kind of strange. So this is called moving on. This is where the puppet master should be, the guy controlling everything. And I think that was maybe the grandpa that was spoken about. Look at this character. This is I think this is a new character. Who is this? It's been so quiet down here. Do you think he's actually dead? I hope so. There's another girl with a face down here. Do you know her? Okay, so we've got to try and find the other girl with the face. I'm guessing this is Tabby. But Tabby escaped, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see. It could be the doll from the original game. Oh, look. Here we go. I'm guessing we try and speak to this person next. That's for Doll of Us, though. This could be Tabby, yeah, because we switched places, didn't we? I tried to keep you safe down here. I was hoping we could play forever. I wish it never had to end. Okay. Which way do we go now? Up or down? I feel like down, probably. She got anything else she wants to say? Nope. 
All right, let's head down, guys. Let's see what's down here. <gasps> yeah, here's the tree with the uh, Puppet Master Man that was split into at the end of the original story. Once again, if you want to find out what the original story was all about, guys, just watch my video on it. I'll link it at the end of this one. Okay, so let's see. If we keep going down, are we going to find something malicious or something good? Oh, here's Tabby. That spirit's just run off. Let's see if we can speak to our sister. Hopefully she's okay. Interact. I'm <laughs> just dragging her off. Kind of uh, wondering where this is all going. Oh, look, we're outside. We're both outside. Melody and Tabby have reunited by the lake outside the house. I always loved it here. Do you remember? Before the house, before everything. Just me and you together in the garden. But now it's just an old memory. A fading reflection. That's it. The end. There's got to be like another ending, I think, guys. There has to be. We did escape, though. But I don't know if we were truly reunited with our sister there. I'm going to have to dig into the story a bit more. What's happening now, though? Ooh. Look, Tabby with a snail on her head and Melody watching the TV. It's interesting. Oh, we can change the channel as well. That's kind of cool. So we've got like uh, TV shows that we can watch now. I don't know if this means anything to the plot. This is just like a nature show. Ooh. This is like one of the kids, like looks like uh, Melody under the control of a house, maybe. This is kind of telling us a cryptic story. Oh, okay. Let me know when my show comes on, girls. That's a creepy old woman, of course, we saw at the start of the episode. I need my true crime fix. Yeah, look, there's Melody. That's Melody, so who's the other girl then? Is that Tabby? Could be Tabby. That's just static. The dancing frog, the dancing frog was from the first game, if you remember. We actually had to defeat him as a boss and we saved his soul. It's just a weird pattern by the look of it. This could all mean stuff though. This one's completely static. I wonder if we leave it on the static if it will come out on the TV like in the ring or something. No, that's it, I think. I just heard the sound loop. The toilet. Of course, that's where the spirit came out of. I wonder if this will be like the ring where we see it come out the toilet instead of coming out the well and then it'll come out the screen. I don't know. Oh, this one's weird. Like a cat. And, uh, what, a dancing fish? Very strange. I think we've looped. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. They're all the channels. Well, that was kind of cool. Oh, but we can select stuff. Oh. Ah, this is how we switch between the two characters. I get it. So I've just gone back, I think, to uh, Tabby's game. But I think we can maybe switch back to Melody's game by interacting with a TV or something. Okay guys, so that was the playthrough for the DLC for House version 1.5 where we played as Melody. What I'm actually going to do now in the next few days is I'll bring you the rest of the endings if there are other endings, which I believe there probably will be. And then on top of that, I will also do a story explain video. I'll probably roll both of those into one video. We'll put all the endings and the story explained into one video. I really enjoyed this House DLC. I thought it was fun. It had a lot of unique ideas. It was cool to play as a sister and find out more about the story. I think we have a complete understanding of the story now apart from one or two smaller things, which I'll go into detail with in my Story Explain video. But all in all, that was pretty good. It was brutally hard, I will say that, figuring out what to do. With that said, if you did enjoy the video today, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.